Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Wednesday, December 21st. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. All right, first off, a couple of clarification points. Number one, the price you see over here will be moving around and the candlestick you see will be moving around. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement live here on video. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here, as are called, represents 30 minutes worth of time. Stock number one here, ICCM, big mover today, and now a very nice pattern has been formed. So let me be very clear as I draw this pattern, these levels, this is not some sort of great talent I have. It's not some sort of secret discovery. I assure you a lot of people have drawn that line right up around $4.30. And I say all that because when a lot of people are watching the same levels and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can produce some very dynamic movement. So while there is no such thing as a guarantee in the market, is it plausible? Is it rational to think that if the price comes up to 430 and can, can get the break up through it, that that break can create additional buying pressure? That is certainly a plausible thought process to have. In terms of levels of support, you have a very well-defined level down here at $2.87. You can see several times now, both during the opening 30 minutes and then a couple more times, the price has been down around that area and it's held strong. So of course, that doesn't mean that's guaranteed to continue to hold strong, uh, but nobody could you know, accuse you of being irrational to think that, okay, you know, I'd be interested in buying around there since it's bounced three times before. So overall though, nice price range here, good solid movement. And like I said, very well-defined levels. So when you have those well-defined levels, it can definitely produce some good solid movement. Next, AVYA and big mover here after a stock, you know, or after this stock got beat down and had been going sideways. And then, you know, even yesterday, last 30 minutes, dropped down as low as right there. And then today really started to come back to life. Still work that needs to be done. And this first bit of quote unquote work that needs to be accomplished is not only breaking above that purple line there, which on my chart denotes the famous 50 period moving average, but staying above it. And I say that because right here, actually, let me first just point out an instance where the price just flat out didn't even break above it. But right here, the price actually did break above it. The problem is was not able to stay above it. And then it dropped back down below it. So that's why I say it's a twofold attack. Yes, the price has got to be able to get above that level, but then it's also got to be able to stay up above it. So keep an eye on that. And let's just call it that area right up around the 30 cent mark. If it can close up around there and get up around there, that would be a good sign that this moving average has in fact been broken. In terms of levels of support, a level that I would definitely consider very important right down here at 20 cents. And I'm not saying at all that this is what's gonna happen, but just for explanation's sake, if the price were to come down to 20 and then break down through there, what would that be doing to the price? That would quite literally be putting the price right back to where it was. And I mean, not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of genuine strength or true power. So for that reason, definitely wanna see the price stay above that 20 cent mark. So 20 cents, key level of support, 30 cents, key level of resistance. Let's see if it continue to build upon this momentum that was established today. Next, CEI and things I'm not going to say is game over, but it's getting very, very close to looking game over as far as this very nice upwards move here that occurred on Monday is concerned. But the, the quote unquote game over point is going to be down here at the seven cent mark. And like we just talked about, same exact logic, not saying it'll occur, but if the price were to come down here to seven cents and then break down below it, say it with me, well, that would be putting the price right back to where it was in this bottom part of the chart and price movements that go back to where they were, not a good sign. In fact, you know, that's what I would call pumping up where the price makes a huge move up and then all of a sudden goes right back to where it started. Again, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but that is definitely why seven cents, in my opinion, at least is such an important level. If the price does try to turn around, then the key level of resistance to keep a close eye on gonna be right up there at the 10 cent mark. So keep an eye on that. But yeah, as of now, things are not looking so good. It continues to pull back, but let's see if it can stay above seven cents. Next one here, AMC, and sure, you can accuse me of setting the bar low, but uh, it, the bar is pretty low, but a good solid day-to-day -day just because this thing actually went sideways. Again, I get it. Jeez, it j just because it went sideways, it's a good day, yes, because this one, as I'm sure you're aware if you're a, a long-term follower, has simply been putting in a new low after new low after new low, and today finally found some support at that green line, which I talked about previously right here at about $4.80, give or take. So I guess technically speaking, it did slightly put in a new low, but nothing where it got any sort of continuation. It dropped down to that level, didn't spend much time down there and then snapped back upwards. 
So overall, this is what I would consider sideways action. So now you can at least throw out the question, maybe that just maybe the downwards pressure has alleviated, maybe just maybe some sort of bounce is coming. Now, let me be very clear. I wish I could say trading was this easy. Just because the price has gone sideways does not mean that for sure guaranteed an upwards bounce is occurring. I'm just saying it becomes a logical thought to have at this point. Case point, let's just say the price was still dropping, dropping, dropping. And I'm sitting here saying, hey, it's looking like this could be a bottom. You'd be totally justified to say, what are you talking about? All the price is doing is going down, but that's not the case here, right? The price has at least now started to go sideways. So is this some sort of bottom? It becomes plausible at this point and worth keeping an eye on. As far as areas of resistance, this level that I talked about yesterday, you can see the power of charts behaved as resistance as you would expect. So if there is gonna be any sort of movement back to the upside, right around 515 will be that first key breakout point. Next one, M-U-L-N, and things are continuing to not look good. It's hanging on by a thread, and I'll explain what I mean by that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that level as it served its purpose. And we're just going to continue to follow this level down. Uh, so for you longer time viewers, you know, this is the one that we've been watching as that main area of resistance. But my comment about hanging on by a thread, well, the thread here is that pink line, which on my chart, you know, it's a very famous 200 period moving average. So to give credit or credit to, it, it's sitting right on that level. So maybe there's just, just maybe this is where the buyers finally step enough to you know, create some sort of upwards bounce. But if the price just continues to bleed down through there, at that point, it's essentially completely game over. And you know, in many senses, feels as though just some sort of quick pump and dump where the price exploded and then has gone right back to where it started. Now, maybe that's not quite that 200 period moving average. You could probably call that more so the 20 cent level. But point here being is this thing has pulled back enough. Nothing can go straight up. But there does also reach a point where it's like, okay, price, you've, you've definitely pulled back enough now. And that is exactly where we're at right now. So keep an eye on that 200 period moving average. Real quickly, I want to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training that I'm offering here very soon. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency as a trader, then definitely get signed up for the free live training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying what you've seen, then I want you to get signed up for the free live training. Next one, ATNF, and this is exactly why I like to do these videos when the market's still open, because as I talk, look at this thing, just absolutely falling apart. So I will say this, this is the, the setups where if you're not disciplined, if you don't honor stop losses, if you don't know what a stop loss is, I mean, you shouldn't even be trading, but that's a whole nother topic. But the point here is that if you're disciplined, then yeah, these can be very nice risk reward scenarios, but if you're not, then don't even bother because you don't want to turn into a bag holder. But we have a very interesting level down here at let's just call it $2.25 as a potential double bottom. Now, keyword there being potential, my point here is this, is that it has bounced from this area before. Does that mean that it's guaranteed to bounce again as we've established? Of course not. But it is plausible to think that if the price comes down here, it could get another bounce. But you have to acknowledge that it might not. It might just continue to get crushed, which is why, again, risk management matters. So if you like good, solid risk versus reward scenarios, you can be a disciplined trader, then certainly keep an eye on it. Next one, LCID, I probably should have put this one at a different location because it's one of these questions of, okay, nice move, but is it a truly strong move? Well, let's make sure that the price doesn't go back to where it started because as we've established that that's not a good sign. That's not any sort of you know sign of genuine power. And you know the, the point here is at $7.20. So as I've said, and I'm not saying this will occur, but if the price were to come down at 7.20 and then fall down below there, what do you have at that point? Again, say it with me. Well, you have the price having gone essentially right back to where it was, which is not this, you know, sign of any sort of genuine move. Where if this price comes down here, comes back down to that area and then bounces, now all of a sudden, what would you have? Well, in this situation, you'd have a low there, you'd have lows there. And if you envision those as stair steps, well, now you got stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. So that's why $7.20, very important moving forward. Because yeah, made a good move today. But can this move start to show signs of progress? The sign of progress being $7.20. Let's see what happens. Next one, PLTR, relatively popular stock. And when you have popular stocks like this get beat down as much as they have, you know, it, you can get some good solid bounces. So what I want to get into play here is just this trend line right here, which has done a pretty fantastic job of showing where the resistance points have been along the way. So you just look at each of these times the price got up around that area. And I, I suppose that's a little bit of a stretch. Didn't quite get close, but point here being is that we're getting some sideways movement. As I've already said, just because it's gone sideways does not guarantee a bottom, uh, but it becomes a more interesting scenario. But in my mind, the big question mark out there is can the price actually break up through that level? You got to think that a lot of people have drawn that trend line, which circles back to the whole self-fulfilling prophecy type angle of things. So if you like to play stocks down below $10 and ones that maybe you're getting ready to make some sort of attempted move back to the upside, then definitely keep an eye on PLTR. 
Next one, TSLA Tesla, and one that I am watching all the time. I traded uh, trade it almost every day, and I did trade it today, but broken record right now. Yet again, another new low, so updates need to be made with the first update being based on the rule that when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So going into the day, right here at that 146 mark was the area of resistance. So if this thing does try to level out and turn around, 146 will be that first big question mark in terms of can the price break above it. And then even if it does, I mean, don't get me wrong, that would certainly be a step in the right direction, but you wouldn't want to get too excited because you still do have that overarching level up there, that purple line, uh, which has been a, a very big, you know, thorn in the side of the chart over the past, uh, you know, several days. So you want to keep an eye on that too, as an area of resistance as far as supports are concerned nothing fancy or complicated here really just the question of where did the bleeding finally stop today so i'm just going to call it 139 as that next key level of support to watch moving forward i realize the price uh, you know didn't quite go down that low but just to give it a little bit of wiggle room 139 main level of support headed into wednesday Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF that follows the NASDAQ. So if you think the NASDAQ market as a whole is going to rise, then you could buy this one just at a much lower price point, which is why this is one of the most popular ETFs out there. And this will mean a bit more to those of you that watched yesterday's video. But if you did watch the video from Monday, then hopefully you remember me putting in that red line there, putting in the, the tread line right there, because check it out. The price is literally doing battle with both of these areas right now. You can see that tread line that I drew has been the thorn in the side of the price, but this presents a very, very interesting scenario. And we can throw out a very important question. Is a breakout going to come? No, it might not, but that's what a watch list is all about. Finding unique, finding interesting situations and not randomly rushing out and buying anything, but watching and seeing what happens. So if you do like to play breakouts, well, then here you go. You could get a breakout. Maybe you like to play rejections. Well, it could get rejected from there too. My point here is that, you know, this is a dynamic situation. This is an interesting situation, which is what we as traders are looking for, right? To find, we don't want to find boring situations where nothing's going on, but here we have the price right at this very uh, key level of resistance. So can it break above it? Is it going to get rejected? Those are some good trade plan worthy questions that can now be asked. So depending on your strategy, depending on how you approach the market, you definitely have a couple of key dynamics here for TQQQ. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to get signed up for the free train. It'll be later this week, Thursday, December 22nd at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these, please do two things for me. Hit that like button, leave a comment below. Tell me what you traded today. Tell me what you're watching tomorrow. But those two things help me out, help out the channel, and I appreciate it. And like I said, definitely get signed up for that free training. Take care, everybody. Have a good one.